Hello viewers, welcome to my new channel. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to convert asphalt quantities from square meters to metric tons. Asphalt is a dark bituminous mixture of fine aggregates and coarse aggregates used for surfacing of roots and floors. Asphalt is usually sold in metric tons in batching plants, but in site measurements, it is usually measured in square meters. Before we continue, do me a favor and subscribe to my new channel and put on the bell notification icon so that you will be notified anytime I upload another video. To convert asphalt quantities from square meter to metric tons, we need two important parameters. The density of asphalt and the asphalt laying thickness. The range of asphalt density is varies from 2,200 kg per meter cube to 2,400 kg per meter cube. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we will use 2,300 kg per meter cube for all our calculations, which is actually what I use as my asphalt density. Example one, to find the quantity in tons of asphalt that we cover a road of 1,000 meter length by 7.3 meter width with asphalt thickness of 50 millimeter. The dimension of the road is 1,000 by 7.3, which is equal to 7,300 meters squared. While the thickness of asphalt is 50 millimeter, the volume of asphalt now becomes 365 meter cube. To get the weight of asphalt in tons, we use the formula. Density is equal to mass over volume. Let us call this our equation one. Where density is equal to 2,300 kilogram per meter cube. Volume of asphalt equal to 365 meter cube. And the mass of asphalt is what we are looking for. Now, rearranging the formula to find the mass of asphalt, we have mass of asphalt equal to density of asphalt times volume. Let us call this our equation 2. Therefore, 2,300 kg per meter cube multiplied by 365 meter cube will give us 839,500 kg which is the mass of asphalt in kilogram. Note that this answer is in kilogram, and therefore to convert to tons, you need to divide the answer by 1000, giving 839.5 tons of asphalt. Subsequently, if the thickness of our asphalt changes, the volume will also change. Therefore, the quantity will change, even though the area in square meter remains the same. Let us treat another example. Example two. If our laying thickness is reduced to 30 millimeter, while the area in square meter remains the same, then our volume will be 219 meter cubed. And the new weight of asphalt from our equation 2 will be 2,300 kg per meter cube multiplied by 219 meter cube, giving us 503,700 kg of asphalt, which is equal to 503.7 tons of asphalt after dividing with 1,000.
Similarly, to do the opposite conversion from tons to square meter, you also need the thickness of asphalt laying and density of asphalt as discussed before. Let us assume that we want to find out how many square meters that the 839.5 tons of asphalt in our example one we cover using the same laying thickness of 50 millimeter. First, we convert 839.5 tons to kilogram by multiplying with 1,000, giving us 839,500 kilogram. Rearranging our previous equation, one, we have volume is equal to mass over density. This will now be our equation three. Where volume is equal to length times width times thickness, or simply put, square meter times thickness. Mass is equal to 839,500 kilogram, and density is equal to 2,300 kilogram per meter cube. Therefore, volume, which is square meter times thickness, is equal to 839,500 kilogram divided by 2,300 kilogram per meter cube, giving us 365 meter cube. To convert this volume to square meter, divide by the thickness. Hence, we have 7,300 meters squared of asphalt, which was our original dimension in example one. Thank you for watching. Please, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Also remember to turn on the bell notification icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload another video. Bye for now and see you in the next video.